So, you've got yourself a Harley. Are you a biker? Let's discuss. Revelator Elf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. Hope you enjoy the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below, and check out the website revelatorelf.com. So, in this video, I'm talking about yes, you're getting yourself a Harley Davidson motorcycle and are you now a biker can you legitimately call yourself a biker the big bad greasy biker who's gonna raise hell wherever they go now uh, on a serious note here i suppose it really depends what you consider a biker to be some people, as I say, they love to put labels on things and they love to say, well, a biker is all about lifestyle, it's all about attitude, it's all about this, that and the other. It's all about dressing in a certain way. I mean, for me, actually, a biker is just somebody who rides a motorcycle uh, and, you know, you actually enjoy it for what it is. Now, some people say, well, that's a motorcyclist. And this is where it all gets a little bit ridiculous, really, because, you know, you could, you could spend a year and a day talking about this sort of stuff and say, like, okay, what makes a biker, what makes a motorcyclist, and all that kind of stuff. I think the reality is that if there's any kind of biker spirit within you, it's somebody who just doesn't really care about what anybody else really thinks of them or who's just happy just to ride their bike, associate with whomever they want to associate with, and, you know, be down with anybody else who what, what they think. That's, that's not necessarily being a biker. That's just, I think, just being an individual. And I always class myself as an individual. Now, that doesn't mean that I will dress in a certain way or, you know, wear leather waistcoats or leather jackets or, you know, all that kind of stuff. But for some people, you would have to look like that to be a biker, to have that kind of biker attitude. It's almost like a uniform. And part of that uniform is actually the bike that you ride. So if you don't ride a Harley Davidson, then you're not a biker in that kind of general lifestyle sense. Now, a lot of this, of course, stems from the United States. And whether you're within the motorcycle rally crowd, the motorcycle club crowd, you know, all that kind of stuff. And traditionally, if they rode uh, Harley Davidsons. Now, the things, times are changing. And everywhere and everywhere is changing around the world but there's a big difference between European clubs let's say or rally scene and uh, American rally scene or Canadian rally scene for that for that matter you know it's a much more eclectic kind of thing over here than is possible or has been in the past in the United States but there's been a big movement even over there to say, actually, you know what, it doesn't matter what you ride, as long as you're riding. And I could not agree with that more. So the, the uniform, the motorcycle uniform has changed now. Now in some quarters, let's say, if you wanted to be associated with a particular group, let's say like a Harley owners group, well, of course, you'd have to ride a Harley Davidson, right? Yeah. Uh, and you couldn't go on rides uh, unless you hold uh, had a Harley Davidson. Now, that's an owner's group. So it kind of stands to reason that, well, if you don't own a bike from that owner's group, then you can't really be part of it. But, look, it, it really depends. It depends in certain areas. So, some will say no. You know, we uh, will accept others, we'll accept Indians or victories or whatever, if you're in the United States. Other parts of the world say no. But that always comes down to individuals and local bylaws, I suppose, local group laws, whatever it is. But none of this really makes you a biker. A biker is, a, say, you've got to have two physical things for me, or two major traits. First of all, you've got to ride a motorcycle. 
that's physically you've got to be on that motorcycle now you could argue whether you're a, a rider the actual somebody who's actually riding the thing controlling the thing and also as a passenger so that's it you know you've actually got to travel by bike the other thing is that you've got to have a sense of individuality for me i think that's what it is and I think that's where the confusion comes from. That people think, well, you've got to dress in a certain way. You've got to be big, bad. You've got to go to motorcycle rallies or motorcycle pubs. You've got to hang out with motorcycle clubs or, you know, wear this patch or wear that patch. Now, if that's what you think it is, then that's up to you. And I, I suppose this is where we would have to agree to disagree because that's not what it is to me and it never has been a bit been about that it's just been about the relationship between you as an individual and the connection you have with your bike that's what a biker is to me and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks it doesn't matter if somebody wants to call you a motorcycle enthusiast or a motorcycle rider or motorcyclist whatever you know those are for me are just labels they're all tantamount to the same thing now if you are riding a particular bike let's say and you want to call yourself a biker well that's absolutely right but i don't think you can say to somebody else uh, hey, guess what, you know, you're not riding this particular bike, oh, bit of flooding here, you're not riding a particular bike, therefore you can't be part of this biker crowd, this biker community. Well, I don't know, I, I, think, you'd, uh, I think you'd have a very short conversation there with a lot of people there, because you wouldn't make many friends, I don't think. Now, I'm sure in certain quarters you would, but those wouldn't. But look, I mean, let me know what you think about this whole thing, you know, as I say, I've got... I've always, you know, s smiled, had a little chuckle when people start coming out with all this biker uh, stuff or motor versus motorcyclist stuff. And when I hear about you've got to ride a certain bike to be considered a biker, oh, I just think that's even more ridiculous. So I, the, the short answer is, if you ride a Harley Davidson, are you a biker? Well, yes and no. It really depends how you regard yourself as well. You know, if if you think that you're trying to live up to some kind of image, then that some kind of image is, for me, you're not being an individual. If you want to start dressing in leather and wearing patches all over the place, or joining clubs or whatever well you may technically be a biker because you ride a bike and you might be into that biker type lifestyle of a particular subculture of biking lifestyle but I, I think you're missing the biggest element of all the individuality of what it is now people confuse being a biker and being part of a motorcycle club as well being in a motorcycle club is a completely different set of circumstances and rules and you know protocols yes you ride bikes and you're a biker but you're also i don't know a, a clubber a motorcycle clubber whatever whatever the term you want to use so it's, it's more about the association with your fellow members your brotherhood all that kind of stuff you know being part of a, of a collective rather than you know as the individual or the, the lone the lone rider whereas a bike it can mean so much more but it can be so much different but it can be so much less as well so this notion as i say that you have to follow the pack or be part of what other people think you should be for me is wrong and I'd always say this, and w whether I'm right or wrong, let, and let me know if I'm right or wrong. Let me know what your thoughts are in this. But I would always say this, it doesn't matter if I'm wherever I am in the world, whatever I'm doing, I will dress up, if I was so, if I were so inclined, which I'm not, but if I was so inclined, I will dress up in a banker's suit and I will go into the, the grimiest biker bar that there is. 
and I will sit at the bar and I will have a drink. And I tell you what, if people want to tell me that I'm not welcome or I'm not a biker, then say, that's up to them. That's their issue. It's not my issue. I'm just a, a normal individual citizen going into a, a place and having a drink. And do you know what? I'll even drink a pina colada, which I bloody well hate anyway, you know, just for the fun of it. You know, but you know, that's, it's, it's, again, it's stereotypes, isn't it? This all comes down to stereotypes and what people think you should be and what people think, you know, a biker should be. And also what Harley riders should be. You don't have to be any of these things, in my opinion, and you don't have to call yourself a biker, and you don't have to dress in any way that you don't want to. If you want to, fine, that's fantastic. If you want to be part of some kind of, you know, other type of lifestyle, absolutely fine, no issues with that. But being a biker, and being a motorcyclist, and being a rider has nothing to do with the way you act as an individual you know th there are there are physical acts which you do which is riding a riding a bike being around motorcycle interests and lifestyles but everything else is just you know it's window dressing it's noise it's just not important in my opinion but look I could be what you would regard as a motorcyclist. I could be what you regard as a motorcycle enthusiast. Or I could be what you regard as a biker. Those are your labels. And I appreciate whatever label you want to use. That's your choice. For me, I'm just, I just lead a life that is a biker's life less ordinary. Catch you on the next video, whenever that is. Please like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And check out the website, revelatehealth.com. Right, off for more bikey stuff. Good luck.